Uh, track work mail with Ali. Who have you sat down with? Tommy Berry? I, I think. I, think I didn't Willie. see it. I was standing the whole time. Okay, that's really, <laughs> that's really the nuance we didn't need. Uh, let's have a listen to Tommy. Another horse who might like some good ground is none other than Mask Crusader, who you'll be reuniting with in the Nature Strip Stakes. Yeah, no, it's been a while, but you know, you know, wrapped to get back on him. Uh, I don't think I've been on him since the Everest last year. So, um, obviously disappointing the other day with him missing the kick as, as, as much as he did. He's been known to miss the kick on occasions, um, but not by that far. Um, and I thought his, his, his run was fine. So, um, before that run, he's been jumping quite well. So, if he can do that on on the weekend and, and position himself not too far away. He's obviously matched it up really well with you know the horses in the race uh, leading into the Everest. So um, yeah, definitely can't uh, can't discount him. Thanks to Tommy Berry. So here's the market for the Nature Strip Stakes: Lost and Running at two dollars sixty, Mazu four twenty, Private Eye five dollars, Eduardo at seven. Standing up, sitting down. You can do it all, can't you, Ali? <laughs> Who are you tipping? Lost and Running, Ben. Same. Thank you.